What is up, honeys? It's King Brittany Chanel of King Brittany Chanel Podcast on Anchor.fm. Make sure you favorite me over there. So I'm back with today's video. And today's video is going to be about Kay's basically ex counsel splitting with him. And also a judge has ordered him to pay over $12,000. So before we get started, definitely make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy my video on this. <laughs> Okay, honeys, just a few announcements. Before we get started, YouTube is more algorithm based now. It's not subscriber based anymore. So which means if you want notifications from a channel, you have to go to that channel and frequent that channel because they're pushing channels based on you returning to the channel. They don't just want you to subscribe and then you never come back to the channel. So in order for you to get notifications now, they wanna see that you're enjoying frequenting some of these channels that you're watching so just make sure that you're checking the channel frequently you know for new content and other things okay and also just a disclaimer like I have my opinion I'm entitled to my opinion this is my channel this is my channel that I have built okay so you know I understand that people may disagree with my opinion but what you don't get to do is come to my channel thinking you about to disrespect me because you're going to get air maxed up out of here. So just before, you know, making that clarification, because sometimes people, um, you know, they differ in opinion and you have that right to, but you don't have your, the right to try to force your opinion on other people. That's straight up. You have to go to your own space with that on your own time. Okay. But you're not going to come and disturb, you know, what I got going on here. And also, you know, my thought process is my thought process. You entitled to yours, I'm entitled to mine. And that's how that go. But anywho, y'all, let's talk about this situation with Kay. So Kay, this, is, this has to do with his divorce. So his divorce counsel or his ex-divorce counsel has split with the singer and basically is asking a judge to um, pay her $12,000 plus. So it's some money that she is request, <laughs> requesting. Excuse me, I'm getting so sick, honey. She's like, I need my money. It seems like, honey, everybody is trying to get their payday out of K, honey. We seen a, 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 what was it? The fan club uh, manager say because K's uh, concerts was canceled that she needed her money. <laughs> from Miss Pace, now we have Kay's ex-divorce counsel requesting $12,000 plus, okay? So everybody is like, I need money and they trying to get their money from this situation. Then, honey, I read an article that one of my subbies sent me. Thank y'all so much for sending me this article that was about the uh, girl, Lizette, I think her name is Lisette or something like that. And she was talking about how she was homeless and stuff like that. And I fully had compassion for her. At the same time, when I was reading the article, because she was like, you know, my face is on Sunset Boulevard. And, you know, I can't afford a hamburger. At this, you know, I, I felt for her. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, well, you know, what's the job situation? What is your work situation? Because it's not like you know, I don't know if y'all know, but did she, it's not like, you know, these people just got out from underneath the grips of K yesterday. You get what I'm saying? And to me, I'm not saying her in general, but I think a lot of people um, in America, we have kind of like raised these people to be professional, I want to say, uh, Vicks. And people are rewarded for that. Like, if you, okay, even if I'm looking at the whole Takashi situation, Takashi, young dude, okay, young and impressionable, he, he made poor choices in his life and then was rewarded with, you know, a $10 million deal and other things. So it just seems like America has a pattern of people make poor choices in their life and then they want to reward them for that. 
But the reason that I mentioned Liz is because I was, you know, reading the article. I'm like, she was like, basically, she was staying on her friend's couch or something like that. And um, she couldn't afford a hamburger. But I'm like, so we're not going to get jobs? Or what's the situation? Because I'm not understanding how you didn't just get out this case situation yesterday. And, you know, I think a lot of these people, and I said this when I did a video when they was giving them awards for that, for the whole, the show. Y'all know the whole movie or whatever, the show that involved this, okay? I said that I felt like it was a bad idea. Because it's kind of seeming like, you know, the, the or it's kind of seeming like <clears throat> we're rewarding people for being vicks. And it's like, you know, life doesn't stop. You know, you could have uh, tragic situations happen to you and you still have to do what you need to do for yourself to survive. You get what I'm saying? Like, I done had some sad things happen to me. You know, why, you know, on the brink of, you know, bills and stuff being um due and stuff like that. But you have to, you know, put your grown woman pants on and do what you got to do. Like, you know, Kay, at that time, he had these women. He was responsible for what he was responsible for. But, okay, life after him is your responsibility, though. And so I just, I didn't understand that. I'm like, I don't know if some of these people is not getting back to work because they want to just rip and run and do these interviews. But when I read the article, the lady Liz was saying that she, um, I think she was saying that when she was in Miami that people was trying to, you know, I guess uh, somebody had uh, broken into her house or something like that. But it's, it's like a lot of these, a lot of these women... Some people that's following this K, uh, this K situation will recognize them, but a lot of these people is not really going to recognize these people. Like, they will be able to work a regular job so that they can support themselves because that's crazy, like, if you can't afford a hamburger. She was basically saying that she was, um, I guess, doing, like, this cleaning thing where she cleans houses and stuff like that and sleeping on her friend's couch, but I think some of these people, and I'm just being honest from what I'm seeing, it's like they wanted like after the fact like a lot of people in america they want to be vix so they could go and write books and do interviews and stuff like that it has become glamorized and that's the i feel the messed up part about it because i'm like okay you on sunset boulevard you know tragic stuff like this happens every day to people and they gotta you know do what they gotta do to make ends meet and do what they need to do like you don't get a brownie because you know this happened to you. Unfortunately, K is one of many uh, probably messed up people in the world. And it's happening to people every single day. They're just not famous. You get what I'm saying? So it's like you don't get a reward or a cookie for that. But back to this whole situation, I just wanted to say that. Because that, that article that I got from that subscriber, honey, thank you for that. That was good. Now, on to this whole situation, y'all. So... It just made me think about it because I'm like, everybody is out for the for the money grab with this whole K situation. You got K fans trying to get money and, you know, it seemed like some of these Vicks is out trying to get money. And then, you know, a lot of stuff has happened and transpired. You know, the parents was talking a lot and it kind of made me think, mm, like, did you kind of put your daughter in this position because you wanted to you know, have a, a, a motive to be famous and and get an objective going. And then now this girl is up there, oh, I can't buy a hamburger, but I'm on Sunset. First of all, Los Angeles is expensive as all get out. So if you can't afford a burger, I don't know why you living there. Um, and then now Kay's uh, ex-divorce counsel. This is crazy, y'all. So it says Kay has broken up with his divorce counsel. And the council has asked a judge to order uh, the singer to pay her more than $12,000. She claims he owes her. And this is on Chicago Sun-Times. Let me see who wrote this. Andy Grimm, okay? Andy Grimm. So it says, Shy um, Council Lisa, we'll call her Lisa D., began consulting for K as he faced, you know, his situation where he got picked up and he's where he's at. And was eventually, 
he eventually, I guess, was at that time, he was taken in for like three nights after, uh, you know, falling more than, I think they said $160,000 behind in the child support and related costs. That was back in March, okay? So basically, Lisa withdrew from this case, they say in September, citing irreconcilable differences with the singer. So a month later, Lisa, she asked uh, Cook Co. Judge Lori, I'm gonna call her Lori S. I mean, not Lori S, Lori R. To basically order K to pay her $12,750. And basically what she said, I think she's saying that he's outstanding on more than $25,000. Is, and that's what she billed him, okay, according to the court records, okay? So, it says here that Kay paid Lisa a $2,500 retainer in March, as well as another $10,000 payment, the filing states. And then it says Lisa's hourly rate is $250, honey. She is about her bag, okay? About the bag. You know, go to school, y'all, for something substantial if you're going to go to school for something. Okay, law is one of them things, I think. Shoot. Okay, so Lisa declined to comment on, you know, <laughs> she declined to comment on some things when asked by the Chicago uh, Times. And basically, y'all know it was a, it's a gathering set for November the 4th. So basically, they give you the whole breakdown. So Kay landed himself in, you know, in, in the pickup, okay, the lockup. In March, when he was unable to come up with the six-figure payment needed to discharge the debt that he owed his ex-wife, Drea, for, you know, the child support and educational expenses, including college tuition for his, his daughter, okay? So that stint, or that time spent that he was in the lockup, came just weeks after another three-night stay. <laughs> they making this seem like this is a hotel stay. <laughs> And it talks about how he had to borrow money after he was unable to come up with the hundred thousand to post to get up out that situation. And um, y'all know what the uh, the charges was for that. Okay, so basically it goes on to say that K since has been taken in and he can't. They're not letting him out. Okay, it's uh, for obvious reasons. Um, and they, they break down what those reasons are. And basically, they're basically kind of asking the question of what everybody else wants to know. This dude who dropped multi-platinum albums during the six-year span between 2002 and 2008 was basically able... To finance, you know, all of these uh, council people. Not council people, but people that was able to represent him okay so when i say counsel i'm talking about legality and all of that other stuff okay so he was able back in in that little time period <laughs> excuse me in that little time I, I was i was trying to say span and period together i'm getting tongue twisted today in that time span of six years he he was financially able but it's crazy now if we are looking at this how he's not able to afford you know, the luxuries and things that he was accustomed to. But that's because he probably had to pay a lot of people from, in my opinion, he probably had to keep up with them payments and had to pay a lot of people to be quiet, keep it on the hush, and don't speak about nothing type payments. And I think that's what the people are um, claiming that he did back in 2008, and that's how he got that acquittal and everything. So, also... They go on to say K was dropped by his record label following the broadcast of y'all know what particular series that was. And his music has been targeted, you know, by a certain group or campaign. Y'all know who it is. And it singled him out because of the longstanding claims that have been made about him over and over again. And honestly, for decades and decades this dude has had these claims and it's just people you know 2019 it all came to a head things were looked into series were made people decided that they were not you know buying into the lies anymore 
and they decided to bring awareness to this stuff. But they've been, I mean, years prior to this, people was talking about this. So, you know, people have been talking about Kay for some time now. He's been the butt of jokes and, you know, different TV shows and different stuff like the Boondocks. So, people have been talking about this stuff for years and it just all came to a head, honey. All came to a head. So, you know, it says, in addition to state and, you know, FED stuff that's pending against him in the shy, y'all know he also had that situation out in Minnesota, and he also had somebody um, take action against him in, in, in a civil type of gathering in, in the shy as well. So, Kay's $100,000 bond was posted by, you know, he had that acquaintance, the one who... <laughs> In that situation, the one who tried to get the money back that he paid her back recently, Valencia, that was just, that was hilarious, who uh, was a business owner who met the uh, singer a few months earlier on a cruise, though the woman in September, and they mentioned, asked if she could get her money back. I was just laughing about that. Kay has sought to decrease the $20,000 monthly they say child support payment he had been making to his wife, the mother of his three children. Y'all know Drea. So, ooh, this is interesting, y'all. I wonder if this lady is going to get her money because all of these people, like I said, when it comes to Kate, everybody is trying to get a money grab. I'm talking about you had his fan club manager that only met him four times uh, trying to sue Jay Pace. Because his concerts and stuff was canceled. You got some of the uh, the Vicks saying they can't afford a hamburger. And, you know, to me, I don't understand why some of these people have not returned back to working and getting their life together after that. And you got... <laughs> It's just a lot of drama. You got you had drama between the parents. One of the parents was looking like they was trying to get a money grab, and that's why they uh had certain situations going on due to their own audio that they did in a uh in a in a I won't even say an interview in a conversation that was put up on the internet because the parent was talking to a blogger. Then I mean you just had a lot of stuff going on. It's a lot of things. With this case situation, it's really bringing out the ugly side of society. And what I'm seeing is you got Vicks that want to, some Vicks out here, not all of them, not all, but they out here want to be rewarded for being a Vic. You got K just not being able to afford paying all of these people. And it's just, it's all bubbling up. Meanwhile, in between time, you got the two girlfriends still living you know in the expensive probably uh condo or you know at the in the expensive tower so he he just i don't understand how the money is still going for that but you can't pay your counsel that's asking for the twelve thousand in unpaid fees and then if he ain't paid her i'm wondering how steve and the rest of these folks getting paid honey it is just a mess this is a mess y'all I mean, what are y'all's thoughts about this? Because this is a straight up mess. So, this lady, the um, counsel, her name is Lisa D. And she represented him over the uh, child support situation. And that was the situation where he spent them three nights. (laughs) He was initially billed for $25,000. But she said he only paid her about half of that money and she withdrew from the case and now she wants him to pay the rest so i think that he should be ordered to pay what he owe you racking up all these bills and it's not nobody's fault that he's in the situation that he's in now now you know it was talks about royalties and different stuff i think more so at this time that k might be prioritizing you know, different stuff. Now, I don't understand, like, if you owe council people, I don't understand why you would still be upkeeping the rent on a high-rise apartment or condo or whatever. I just don't understand that. You know, I would be paying the bills and things that I owe, especially to keep council on good, you know, in good standing. 
But he probably like, look, child support the least of my worries. I need to make sure Steve and them good so that I could be good. He couldn't even get time um M. And that was MJ former counsel. So that's really showing y'all like this man was in a very much privileged position, squandered all of that because he just did not get the help that he needed earlier on in life. All these people, they knew that this man needed help and they just enabled this dude. They did everything to please this man and to make him happy. They was taking, you know, the little, uh, I would say, payouts and stuff from the dude because that's what they're claiming happened. You know, and they just, to me, they just, I mean, they really did a disservice to this dude. Really did a disservice to this dude. Because his situation now, it's like, okay, you now going to be probably spending out the rest of your days where you at. You know, your legacy is now tarnished. I mean, this is crazy. A person, do y'all know how many hits this dude had? And to not be able to pay your counsel and you was worth the amount of money you was worth? Crazy. But that's all because he made poor choices. I'm telling you, this is wild, y'all. This is just so... But people will swear up and down all day that the dude didn't have no issues or whatever. Now, I'm telling you, as we get closer and closer to this whole huge try situation where due process and stuff is going to happen, I hope it just... I hope that the side that is trying to... uh, stop the case of the world i hope that they get it together you know for the sake of their daughters i also hope people get it together just so that it looks presentable because it's becoming a circus on both sides it really is like if we're sitting back looking at both sides and both you know types of people it has become a circus people are going against each other And now you're really starting to see different people's motives. We're now able to connect the dots and be like, "Mm." so you said initially it was this, but now it looked like this. So y'all let me know y'all's thoughts about this. It's King Brittany Chanel. You already know. I will see y'all on the next video. But also before I go, definitely make sure y'all check out my podcast, King Brittany Chanel on anchor.fm i do post my podcast on my community page and you can also find the links to my podcast in the description and in the comment section below see y'all soon on the next video come shop with me now at my teespring store king Brittany chanel couture i provide custom apparel and so much more for an affordable price we have items like leggings t-shirts and hoodies so thank you for shopping and i hope that you enjoy Hey honeys, thank you for watching my video and if you haven't, definitely make sure you check out my Teespring King Brittany Chanel Couture where you can find my latest merch. I upload a lot of new designs frequently so definitely make sure you check it out. We have mugs, we have wall tapestries, canvas art, pillows, fleece blankets, apparel, and so much more. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all on my next video.